Welcome back. I'm back. And we're going to see where we left off. I completely forgot. All right, let's take a listen. So uh, we were adding some color with the woodwinds. Still sounds pretty thin. I mean, it's really not fleshed out yet. Uh, the sort of... I think it's going to need some percussion doing the same rhythm to to kind of keep the drive going forward. I'm not sure what it is about this woodwind part that sounds so thin it might be because be because um i remember i was saying that i wanted to start adding some strings maybe that'll thicken things up here let's just see how this sounds Let me just hear it. i mean it is a thin orchestration Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a good start. It's a good start. It's a good start. Maybe we're going to have to take out the con, uh, colenio and start having some actual... Um, some, like, staccatos or something. It's just... It's, it's, it's striking me as too thin and puny. I mean, it's not... Nothing's complete. This isn't... This is still just the beginning here oh okay and this we should definitely fill this out too still lots of work to be done on this and we had flutes so I think next thing I'm gonna do let's listen to that sound all right so I think I'm gonna start filling out a little bit with lower strings just to experiment a little bit, I, I'm going to add, honestly, a doubling is probably good in the violas. And maybe we don't want to start it. Let's take it down an octave. I don't think that's... Uh -huh. let's, let's see how it sounds just doubled at the octave. Sorry, doubled in unison. is in range yeah I think we were mostly just hearing this let's take it down silly me that's what you get what that's what you get for working on computers all the time ah let's just try it again now that the octaves are in a better uh, the octaves the violas are in a better octave see how that's
these strings to be doing the same gesture that the woodwinds are doing. I think I changed the voicing around up here to get rid of that wide gap. Yeah, it was right here. I did that. I think I'm going to do the same thing. So I just brought these Ds up to A. All right, I think that'll make it sound a little more full. Yeah. We have enough D going on. Uh, let me do this one part at a time. Yeah, that's it. And let's pop it up to A. Same thing in the... No, wait a second. Do, 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 do. Still something missing there. I'll figure it out. Um, still this kind of thing. I mean, you're not going to hear, you know, Beethoven or Haydn doing con, con, uh, Coleño. I can't say it. Coleño. But just this sort of like this sort of texture in the in the uh, in the woodwinds it just keeps making me think of some kind of classical orchestration but I don't know I'm, I'm liking it for now I can always go back and change it but we're definitely not done yet I think let me take a listen to what's going on with this trumpet that I have been liking such a simple thing but it seems to be very effective <laughs> got to do something with this to keep it going. That's sort of a happy accident. That's a nice that's a nice way to finish it. Let's start that last phrase or part of a phrase loud that was just an accident was it bob ross who said happy accident i don't know mm -hmm. so now we can start breath in there. I'll come back and finesse all these parts later. Still we're composing. Yeah, so maybe this um, trumpet can join in with what the, the other brass players are doing here. This little dissonant repeated thing I was working on sort of uh, naturally doves, dovetail, dovetails together, these two parts. So I think this could be pretty effective. I think, if it's done right. Probably want to change the articulation. And I might have to split this out into different tracks, but let's see how this sounds. Yeah. 
not very musical, but that's all right for now. so musically boring like the performance the computer performance is so boring <laughs> eh, eh. all right it, it's getting a nice build i'm now i'm not sold on this idea <laughs> Pretty good. I feel like I want to hear some percussion. Percussion, percussion. I think I want to sort of emphasize that da, 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 rhythm with something percussive. Yeah, something like that. Auditioning here. <laughs> Lots of that same rim shot sound everywhere. I don't know. Let's just see how it sounds. I don't know where I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to go back to the top, and when it feels right to bring that in, I'm going to bring it in. my performance was rush I always rush whoops to do change up the uh the drum loop at that spot make it a little more interesting mm. oh, let's see what we've got whoops um hang on a second okay A little more driving. All right, I'm gonna do this. It's a little more driving, and I think I'm gonna start to tweak this loop a little bit, give it a little more forward momentum. Maybe I need to.
That'd be interesting. Let's see how that plays off of the 3, 4, and 6, 8 time signature happening at the same time. Might be an interesting interplay. Yeah, something like that, but not yet. Not yet. Um, let me take a look at my little tune here. Let me put that key switch back where it belongs and change it up at just the right moment. Oh, let's see when that is. That's totally not the right key switch. Give me the wrong loop. Something silly happened there. You know what? I'll keep that option in mind. I want to make this drum loop a little more musical. Um, let's have it be sort of a tiered progression. I think my pitch bend here is going to be the accent pattern. Um, maybe sort of crescendo there and I think this is overall volume if I'm not wrong so we'll have it kind of step up here I know hear how that sounds spot right there right on this measure 18 that's when we need to cue in that other that other rhythm that I was liking was it what was the key switch uh, Must be some type of cadence. So C sharp key switch. I don't know how this is going to sound. I kind of like it. Can always change it. I kind of want like a low blast on that spot where the melody breaks. Would it be cool to do organ? I don't think it's going to work. something <laughs> could be it's a little bit loud <laughs> Let me temper that back a touch. Pretty loud. 
I don't know. And it's too short. Why? And why not? Let's kind of make it die off a tiny bit. <laughs> Yeah, it could work. It could work. It could work. It could work. What was the phrase? Uh, it's getting there. Okay. Whoops, measure too soon, and that ought to be, huh, gotta make him sustain, okay, sustain, yeah, I like it, it needs to be finessed just like everything else, we'll figure it out, uh, I almost want to hear... I'm thinking, I'm changing my mind on the orchestration. I wonder if this part, which is solo horn, needs to be ensemble horn. Horn ensemble. So, experiment. Let's see how that sounds. I'm going to mute that. Because this is really building up and that, you know, we added that horn, just that solo horn, just for a little reinforcement. But now it's getting so thick, we might need the... Whole ensemble. I don't know. It's too diffuse. Yeah, that's the thing about... No. Wait a minute. The thing about horn ensemble is it seems to really diffuse the focus of the tone. The horn sort of blends so well with everything, and then the more horns there are, they all sort of blend together. So I like the solo horn better. So just there, definitely needs some kind of pick me up. It might be a good spot to add trombones. Trombones might be what we need there. Now we already have, no, no, we don't have a trombone. Just one, I think, ought to do. Just one ought to do, and it's right there. And I think we're going to also double that low, that low blast with a trombone too to give it some focus. Wait, is this out of range? No. Whoops. Bit better the thing that's getting me now is everybody's so on the beat everything is so perfectly quantized it sounds a bit unnatural but i'm gonna leave it for now and come back and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak uh the release on this seems really artificial really artificial Maybe it needs to diminuendo a bit more. That might be it. And maybe just sort of carry 
over into the next beat just a hair just a hair and this one was super weak so let's see that ain't what I want and this isn't what I want either let's have it let's see how this sounds I don't know it makes room for the melody to come back in but then that actually the trombone yeah, we need to get this guy out of the way a little bit more because once the trombone comes in we have some more brightness and that sounds a bit it kind of conflicts with the this where are you make a noise would you not that noise this super bright um where's my trombone trombone this guy oh and he's blasting at full blast anyway let's just bring him down a touch <coughs> Just for funsies, let's see how that sounds. One half step lower. No. I think he just needs to be shorter. So the fact that the melody picks up on the same note as this one is is <laughs> is what's getting me. That could work. idea of having this tune extend out in this way I'm not I'm not liking it now it's not getting me where I want to go I might work on that tomorrow and just kind of play around with the orchestration a little bit here right now Mm, I don't know. Might be fun to add some color. Add some color. Add some color. Experiment. Add some color. Experiment. I don't know what to add. Let's listen again. some metallic sounds like a broken cowbell or something 
with like these kind of chain, metallic chainy sounds, anvil or something. I don't know, let's try it. Stupid uh, drum loop at that spot. I'm not digging. I think I just quantized this in a weird way. I guess we'll find out. And let's hear some proper reverb. drum loop at that spot is not I thought it was clever but it doesn't it's just not doing it not doing it maybe we could do it once oh so deep so deep I guess I honestly don't need to make that a separate event but why not leave that change for now. I feel like there's something really important missing, like some kind of sustained noise. Noise, some kind of sustaining note. And I know we're talking about that D pedal feel at the beginning. Save already. And I wonder what we can use to accomplish that I don't know if it needs it or not. You know what? Also, while I'm at it, let me copy this monster brass thing into bassoons. I think that would be good. I don't know if it's really going to add too much. It's too low, I think. <laughs> Really need a good contrabassoon sample. That would be awesome in this. Actually, should probably, well. That bassoon is really gonna have a hard time fighting through those brass, but I hope it will just add a little bit of Focus to the sound. I mean, it's pretty focused already. I think a good contrabassoon sample would be great to have there. The readiness of that would be nice with that really bright, brazen brass sample. Bright, brazen brass. Bright, brazen brass. So we're thinking, ah, uh, some kind of sustain. I wonder if just a simple, a simple violin sustain might be effective.
all, but it kind of cut through in some spots. Let me double it up at an octave higher. Turn off the low latency. That crescendo is not very nice. Just move our dots around a little bit here. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on, logic. You're being illogical. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Can also hear, you know, choir in there. I think I'm gonna start messing around with that in a second. Maybe something simple. I can write some pretty complicated choir parts that sound really good. They're very time consuming, but when it's right, it's so good. It's so good. Come on, don't do that to me. I don't know, let's see how this sounds. I like this string thing. Have him have the tremolo string, tremolo violins back off more, go, go way into the background there, and they only kind of come out for that accent. I like the metallic smack in there. It is early. Got you quantized, get you quantized. I, f I feel like it needs more. It needs to sound like it's back further in the orchestra. And we're talking mixed stuff here, but we're not mixed. sound like something starting to sound like something the strings need to back off again I wonder if I don't have a better tremolo effect I think I do I know I do it's not loaded up in this um oh maybe here something like that no no. Oh, those are trills. What am I doing? Uh, it doesn't sustain. No, or maybe it would. No. So it's sort of a short one. Uh, this is this is this is workable. I can almost hear. The third of the chord in here too. this guy come in a little bit more and it might be cool to have the tremolo strings doing something similar to what these colenio strings would be doing so I guess this would be a heavily divided or a divided first string section and I'm gonna try to pull out this little line 
this middle voice and add it to the tremolo string part. to reinforce it. Now, this is not going to be effective as is, so I'm going to have to make some changes here. I have to extend, extend these things out. Sometimes you end up doing a whole lot of work for very little result. But I think this is going to work. Pretty cool. Shit, let's just get rid of all these. Be efficient here. I know how this is gonna go. Boop, boop. I can even be more efficient. Highlight this. That. And then just delete it. Bye bye. And then get this guy too. Um, okay, let's see how that sounds. Why not? From the top. Let's turn off latency, low latency. Sort of drowns out, sort of drowns out the that rhythmic da, 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 thing that we were working on. So I think what I'm going to do is take this and put it in a separate track and wait. Yeah, take it, put it in a separate track. I should have a second violin tremolo. Make a region. And I'm going to pop it in there. Now, I don't think that's lined up. That ought to do. Oh, I didn't get this one. All right. I missed one, too. C sharp. This is, it just has to be in the background, this little background rustling sound that's just going to reinforce that. Da, 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 da. No, and just for good measure, let me split this note here. Split. I can do it this way. Split. There. It'll start right there. Kind of working. Needs to be really tweaked. Save. Ah. Uh, I mean, I could, I could definitely hear some cymbal crashes in obvious spots. And oh, maybe some snare. I mean, we already have. Yeah. We already have sort of a rim shot thing going, but I don't know. Let's just experiment. Maybe. Once you add snare, it always gets this sort of military vibe to it. And it's sort of getting there anyway. We got, you know, with the drums and this sinister 
ominous thing we've got it could definitely fit with like a you know like an approaching army or approaching doom or something could always come back to it i think let's just put in some obvious stuff crash <clears throat> So again, with that phrase, the way it's going, I'm not sure if I want it to do that. I think I'm going to have to come back to that tomorrow and, and figure out where this is going to go to. Um, those two crashes, I three crashes I put in there will be fine for now. Uh, good to put choir I have to do this stupid thing with my choir one second here I kind of feel like I it, on those low brass, blah, those low bla brass blasts, you know, some kind of just standard choir chord could be effective. Um, I don't know. Just something simple. Tus. Maybe actual words instead of parts of words. Uh, I think I have to go into my other system here and check out what's happening here. Uh, one second. Technical difficulties happens all the time. Oh, it's acting silly. I don't want to restart. Hang on. Looks like one of my things is spazzing out. Um, hang on, I could do this. I could do this. Yes, load. Sorry, working on my other system here. I need to get faster hard drives, that's for sure. Okay, now it sounds reasonably loud. Well, is it all loaded up? Load me up. Do, 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 do. Alright. Well, that's cooking there. Ooh, sleepy choir. Well, that sounds really nice. Let me find another syllable. Still loading. Uh, are you loaded? Come on, samples. Come on, samples. 
It's getting late over here. All right, I think I'm just going to go for it. Something like that. We're a little bit drowned out. Drowned out. I need to flesh it out a bit more. Uh, what kind of voice are you doing? Mark? It'd be good to have some dissonance in there. Like a ninth. A ninth chord, but how do I want that? Maybe up there on the top in the sopranos. And have it resolve just on the last beat of the measure. Very dramatic. I don't think this, I don't know if it's going to work. Could be. Got this nice wide interval here. That was problematic in the woodwinds. Let's take you up a octave. Kind of like it. I want to make this one shorter. Maybe a different syllable. Something with a consonant at the end. Do we have any? They're saying sunk. Super quiet. All right, key switch for that is here. Let's just make sure that we don't have any overlapping notes. Trim. Keep. Oh, well. syllables they're saying we're getting like an overlap of the release syllable the release consonant this is the joy of programming choir maybe because that sunk the k at the end kind of comes quickly this will sound effective <laughs> Kind of. Very dramatic. I like it. Well, if it's going to do it, if it's going to do it once, it's got to do it again. Is this our spot? Right syllable like ah. E could work. Eh? Is that eh or E? We've established the choir as a color in our palette. It definitely needs to participate in this 
crescendo climaxing thingamajig. Um, only question is how. ideas might be worth doing tomorrow um, I really want that to be more of a hard hitting let's see what else we got itch mm. Staccato. Yeah. That's what we want. A nice, crispy staccato. Hit that. Nice and solid. So we're going to use different samples. Let's see what happens. Maybe that's too crisp. Some of these guys are not following the director's instructions and ending on the right spot. Peace, peace. All right, feast, feast. I'll find the right one in here. Fa. liked it better the way it was. I could spend forever doing this. And since we've got the choir doing those little leaning dissonances, and it's at the same time as the violin tremolo thing we just put in. It almost seems like it's going to be a requirement to have the violins do that too. Now we can sort of... It's not going to be exactly the same. If it were being performed live, then I'd write it differently, but... Somewhere on measure 12 or 13, it would make sense to bring the choir in again. Doing what? I don't know. Let's listen one more time. Turn off the low latency. Feeling quiet. 
choir notes. I'm feeling them. Where are you, choir? Might be good to bring in something like... Some of these choir samples are treacherous and they take so much finesse. I can, uh, I think, so I can hear low choir, men's choir singing along with this tune. Uh, no, yeah, and that's at measure 12. Let me copy it in there. The choir is going to have to be revisited and really tweaked out. Just gonna throw this in there. Take it down. It's gonna be a little bit quiet. I don't know if it's gonna cut. Maybe I have to double it. To me, now with the choir in there, this thing I was debating sounds more convincing. <sighs> so puny. So puny. Oh, so quiet. It does sound good in there. It does sound like very, very common practice. Very common practice to have the choir doubling the low brass or the other way around the brass doubling the choir like that. Like Berlioz or something. Don't want it to be... Berlioz. My samples don't go that high. The poor ladies would be screaming. I do like it in the low brass. It does sound very traditional, but you know, that's not always bad. Not always bad. Definitely developing a sense of drama and dread. Something apocalyptic is happening. And I like it. I want it. hear them in there and you know that comes down to the mix we're not mixing <laughs> the anvil is bugging the hell out of me i mean it's kind of nice but he's just like really <laughs> over enthu overly enthusiastic This tremolo, I was so hopeful about this. I don't know. Oops. Ugh. twice 
in a row like that kind of takes away some of its thunder. Let me hunt that down and see if a making that the flat seven instead of the sharp seven might give us back a little oomph on on that little line. This might sound goofy. And those violins just so high without the octave below it sound like they're just going to dry up and blow away. Maybe as this goes up. Now, I have, if this were live orchestra, these strings would be so divided. It just wouldn't have the penetrating power, but we're working in the computer this time. started with I think there's some weird voicings voice leading going on here huh it's definitely not very traditional that we have this C and the C sharp here at the same time <laughs> Goofy stuff happening here. This is a bit weird. This spot. Sort of a shoot first, ask questions later approach to composition. Love how they both leap up to this dissonance. This. This major ninth. It's very strange, but I, let's hear how it sounds in context. And, you know, before I start adding more counterpoint, it's starting to get pretty dense. Let's see. What do we got? We've got this thing. We've got this thing. We've got a rhythmic thing. And choir is playing along with the low brass. I mean, the choir could double this little tune. So have one part of the choir doing this melody in the bottom and then another part doing this melody in the top. The the voicing of these the, the voice leading in these two tunes is so strange here at this part. I I almost ah, almost love the tension it makes because it's so I mean, look, the direction it's going is is not, like, revolutionary, but the way those voices interplay is sufficiently unusual that it makes its own kind of tension that I'm kind of liking. Yeah, I don't know. 
Um, wonder how it would sound to bring this into the choir. This is super high. It's even out of range. I mean, it's pretty crude programming at the moment. Pretty crude programming at the moment. I'm not sure if I'm sold on having the choir do that. Well, I'm going to leave it in there and just mute it and come back to it. I'm starting to get tired. I want to go watch a movie and chill. Let's listen to this a couple times. But as it stands right now, this is definitely not the beginning. This is definitely the middle of something. And, you know, I'll figure out how to start this and end this another day. Sometimes you start at the beginning. Sometimes you start at the end. Sometimes you start in the middle. Sometimes you chop it up and move things around. With, with this kind of impromptu composing, it's just, yeah, it's up to me. It's up to me. going to go as of yet. I mean, it's not going to be effective to just have it build and build and be and not deliver on the promise of it being like totally epic at the end. Something something that's going to, mm, you know, deliver on the promise of where it's going. As it stands, the last few bars here from like measure 21 to 26 since I don't know where it's going, it doesn't make too much sense to go in there and and mess around with that. Maybe it would be a good thing to do is leave this what I have as a you know, like a placeholder and start thinking about what it's going to. And then I can bridge this gap, right? This spot right here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's built up enough. Um, the payoff, you know, maybe if I get to the payoff, I start working on what the payoff is, then it will make sense more how to connect what I have to what it's going to be. <laughs> keep trying to keep track of my ideas here. And then I don't know how it's going to start either. So what do we got? 46 seconds. missing oboes in my upper winds and I think my buffer size is too small 256 all right next time I open this up I'm gonna have to change that buffer size because I'm getting dropped samples I can hear it 
And uh, real quick, I think I want to put oboes in there because now that the texture is thickening up, I'm losing some bite in my upper winds. Now, I don't know if I just want to have them do the same thing as the flutes. It's probably going to be really squeaky. Squeak. Super squeaky. Yeah, it's not too bad. Give me, it's giving me that bitey sound, that nice nasally biting oboe. It might be too short, too staccatissimo. Let me move it just to regular staccato and see how that sounds. Might be a little more natural sounding. You know, in fact, that sounds a lot more um, like relaxed and not. Maybe that's going to work better in, in all the winds. sold on this wind voicing again by itself to me it sounds okay but once it's in context with the other instruments I'm going to have to do some kind of combo staccatissimo and staccato, standard staccato in here to get this sounding right. So maybe the short rhythms da -da -da, da -da -da, need to be staccatissimo and then those ones that are on the beat more maybe need to be... Um, regular staccato. I'll we'll just try this in the flute. So that's my short. We're going to get rid of all those. Now I think I can tell the same suppositions. Right. All right. And now this is the regular. Okay. Select suppositions. I think that's gonna work. No. How come I didn't get these? I hope I didn't delete those in the. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't grab these. Do it manually. I hope this makes a more musical sounding performance of these flutes. I think so. And you know what's missing too is I need to adjust the um, velocities too to make that sort of build a bit more with with the climax. Uh, now what did I do? Okay, so this is my staccatissimo. So we're gonna remove the first beat there. Right. And then this is my regular staccato. Now let's see if logic makes the same goof. Yeah, it's still doing that line. Or something. Let's hear how these oboes sound. Yeah, uh, I think that's better.
Yeah, it's definitely better. Do the same here. I like this super high clarinet hanging out. All right, staccatissimo, so we want to get rid of these. Don't be dumb on me. You know what? Let me quantize this again. Whoops. Now you should select. Oh, I did it again. So if I were writing this for a live orchestra, I'd have to put that high clarinet. I think it would be better on like a little E flat clarinet or something, but I don't have good samples for that. Okay, let's hear the whole woodwind ensemble. And I think I'm gonna throw in some bassoons to probably just jamming on a D with this rhythm. bassoon range probably makes sense to have that Said I was gonna go and now I'm getting ideas. I think I want to thin this out a little bit at the beginning. Let's cut out the bassoon. So 16 seems to be sort of some kind of a rival, and at that point I'm going to that's where the 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 texture the vertical the height of this uh woodwind ensemble is going to get bigger and i think i might even add piccolo at 16. <laughs> Piccolo at 16, can just double the flutes, and I think the Colenio has run its course. It might be better than to add this proper staccato in the strings at that point. Let's cut this out, pop it up an octave, and maybe even... Yeah, I don't like
like the note velocities in that. It's going to have to be finessed. Finessed. It's too static. So what were we talking about? Measure 16. We need to... I want to stop. I can't stop. Let's cut this split. Mute. Let's see how it sounds if I just put it with a regular, maybe like a spiccato or spiccatissimo. Let's just see how that sounds. Let's just. <laughs> That's the violas. Let's get the violas going too. Viola. Viola. Violin two. Do I have a spiccato? I think I need to rename my regions. I'm starting to lose track here. I might even need to bring the cello in. Oh, don't do that. I might need to bring the cello in. It just it needs to get some energy, some beef. Oh, come on. We need some beef. It needs to build. Oh, stop it. Where did I put viola? It's going to have to come way up. We are kind of missing the um, the percussive element of the colenio articulation. I'm going to stop tweaking. Let's see if this just needs to be done with... Um, Note velocities. I'm starting to get tired. All right. It might just be a velocity thing. But we need beef. We need beef. I mean, I love that percussive quality that Colenio has. And let's try it. <laughs> You know, at this at this juncture, what's killing me is the sound quality. I'm going to do a global pull down of the whole mixing board here. But you know what? My record window is in the way. <laughs> My little camera. I can't access this i don't want to pull down the main volume uh, let's just do like a 3 db pull down <clears throat> uh, except for my microphone this one you can be stay all right i'm done i'm going to listen one more time and turn it off
This guy's not playing in tempo. He sounds like he's late all the time. This gets really fussy when the samples don't start where they should. <laughs> Somebody is late. Who is it? It's a percussion instrument. Is it my rim shot? Did I not? do this right <laughs> this rim shot is so late Voice is going. It's late. <clears throat> I think I'm signing off. <laughs> <laughs>